girls it's Monday again and you know what that means yeah back to school or back to the dining room wherever it is you're doing your learning this week but it also means it's discoverers at home and we're here my home hopefully at your home as well nice and warm unfortunately no snow day this week is there Oh, what amazing time people had last week and uh, in a minute I've got a video for you that shows you some of the snowmen that some of you guys made at home and they are pretty amazing. So Discoverers at Home Series 5, we're on episode 4, we're going through our peas, and uh, so we've had power, haven't we if you can remember, have a look, power, person, Last week we had provision and uh, Mr. Dennis, he's going to be looking at prayer this week with Dench time uh, as well. So great things to look forward to, uh, video, songs, all the usual stuff for you to have discoverers in your own living room. Isn't that absolutely amazing? So let's get on. We've sung our first song already. Let's get on and look at these snowmen and uh, see what the other guys have to say about this P4 prayer. Elsa? Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away. We used to be best buddies, but now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Oh, wait, Anna. Okay, bye. And build a snowman Or ride our bike around the halls I 
think some company is overdue. I've started talking to the pictures on the walls. Hang in there, Joan. It gets a little lonely. All these empty rooms, just watching the hours tick by. Where's he going with his one? <laughs> so I don't have to set an alarm? You don't need an alarm. Any, pla any place. Ready? Yep. Any place. Any place, any time. Any place, any time. Okay, okay. Any Oh, okay, right. Maybe I'd, Matt, just start again, boys and girls. That's fine. And our, our, our P word for this week. Oh, I'm going to start again. <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh, good evening, boys and girls. It's really good to see you again this week. And uh, welcome back to Dennis time. And this is Dennis time with a slight difference because uh, I'm in the church building. And uh, that's really helpful because this week our P word is prayer. And as you know, if you're going to pray, you've got to be in a church, right? Steve. What? You don't need to be in a church to pray. You can be anywhere. Anywhere. Oh, OK. Um, well, uh, well, boys and girls, we're thinking about prayer this week. And as we know, you can pray anywhere. At and... Um... <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's... Uh... It's my alarm to remind me it's time to pray because although you can pray anywhere, you can only pray at certain times. Steve? Yeah? You can pray anywhere and at any time. <laughs> I'm getting a bit wrong this week. Okay, so when it comes to prayer, you can pray anywhere and at any time. But I'm glad you're here, Simon, because... Um, any time. Um, I, I, I need someone to pray for me because I'm only little old me and you're only little old you and we, we need people to pray for us because we can't pray, surely. Steve? Have I got it wrong again? You got it a little bit wrong, yes, because anybody... Anyone? ...can pray. Okay. Anywhere... Sorry. At any time? Anywhere... Yeah. Anytime. Yep. Anyone. Okay. You got it, boys and girls? Anywhere, anytime, anyone. But when it comes to praying, do you sometimes struggle with the words to pray? Because some people know all the right religious things to say, don't they? And their prayers sound amazing. And we can like, just not know what to say. Steve? Yeah? Any place? Yeah. Any time. Yep. Anyone. Yeah. Any words. Any words. So we don't have to have special religious words? No special words. Oh. Words from the heart. Boys and girls, isn't that great? We can pray to God any place, any time, if just any words that are coming from our heart. So the next time you're feeling, maybe you're feeling sad and a bit down, maybe lockdown and homeschooling is really hard, you can pray to God about that. Or maybe, if you've had something really good happen, you can pray to God and say, thank you. Because God loves to listen to our prayers. And because he loves to listen to our prayers, then, well, it doesn't matter where we pray. We can pray in any place, at any time. He wants to listen to everyone. And he doesn't want lots of religious-sounding words. He just wants the words from our hearts. Isn't that great, boys and girls? So why not? before you go to bed or whenever it is you have time, 
Say a prayer to God tonight and he will love to listen to your prayer. Well, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye to me. And goodbye from me, him. And uh, I'll see you next time on Dennis Time. Goodbye. Noah built the most enormous boat that kept the birds and animals afloat. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and Noah lived his life for him. Dennis there, Dennis time, getting a bit, getting in a bit of a pickle with his peas. Um, what can you do with prayer? Well, thank you very much, Steve, for explaining that. We got there in the end, didn't we? Uh, any time, any place, anyone. Um, what amazing thing prayer is. Uh, speaking to our Heavenly Father. And uh, it is really, really amazing to be able to do that. We've still got Dench time. And I'm praying, having a sneak peek, that she's going to be safe. Um, because I've seen where she is this week. And boy, whew. Um, so uh, let's pray that she is safe. Uh, but you'll see that in a few minutes. We've still got another couple of songs. We've got a video all about prayer uh, as well. And uh, so that'll be pretty amazing. And then, boys and girls, next week, it's some sad news. It's our last Discoverers at Home next week of this season because it's coming up to half term in a couple of weeks. And uh, so parents, I think they're looking forward to that just as much as you guys uh, as well. So uh, next week, our P is going to be Promise. 
uh, next week. But uh, let's continue with today's P, which is prayer. And uh, as I say, we've got stench time, songs and a video. So I will see you back here in just a few minutes. really stuck and Steve couldn't answer me Kez didn't answer me Simon didn't answer me either none of them answered but amazingly whenever we pray to God he always listens and he always answers God's story is about prayer, and it goes like this. 
Prayer is what we call a conversation we have with God. That means even though God created the entire universe and has power over all things, He wants to have a relationship with us. He wants us to know Him. That's pretty amazing. We can talk to God anytime, anywhere, about anything. But let's look at four examples of different ways we can pray. One way to pray is to praise God. That's when we tell God what we love about Him. Like a guy named Jehoshaphat. He was king of God's family when some big-time armies declared war on them. Jehoshaphat was terrified, so he talked to God about it. He said, God, you are the mighty ruler of all things. We don't know what to do, but we're looking to you for help. King Jehoshaphat believed God could help them. So as he went into battle, he sent people ahead of his army to praise God. They said, give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love endures forever. Yep, that means he thanked God before he won the war. And when God heard his praise, he caused those big armies to attack each other. Jehoshaphat didn't even have to fight. A second way to pray is to repent. See, we all mess up, which means we turn away from God. When we repent, we ask him to forgive us and we turn back to him. One time, another king named David made a big mistake. He took something that wasn't his. Then David tried to cover it up, which turned it into an even bigger mess. When David's good friend Nathan told him he disobeyed God, David repented. He said, have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love. Mercy is when someone gets forgiveness they don't deserve. And guess what? God will always forgive us when we repent. Of course, anyone can pray to God, not just kings. One woman named Hannah reminds us of a third way we can pray. We can ask God for something. Now, Hannah really wanted to have a baby, and she told God that. But you know what was crazy about her prayer? Even though she really wanted a baby, she said, God, if you give me a son, then I will give him back to you. Kids, isn't that unusual? To ask for something you want, then give it back? Well, a year later, Hannah had a son, and she did exactly what she promised. She gave her son back to God by sending him to live with a priest named Eli and do God's work. And Samuel just so happens to be a great example of a fourth way we can pray. Like any good conversation, we shouldn't do all the talking. We should listen, too. That's because God is in control, and we've got to yield or give in to what He wants. We yield when we listen to what God says and obey Him, no matter what we want. One night, God called Samuel's name three times. When Samuel finally realized God wanted to talk to him, he said, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Samuel stopped to listen, and God told him things. When Samuel obeyed what God told him, God kept talking to him. And when we pray, when we praise, when we repent, when we ask, and when we yield, we remember that he's the one in charge and that we get to talk to him because we're loved by him. And that's some of what the Bible says about prayer. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Prayer is talking to God. Prayer is also listening to God. There are a lot of ways to pray. Jehoshaphat praised God. David repented. Hannah asked God for what she really, really wanted. Samuel listened. And they all wanted what God wanted more than what they wanted. Prayer reminds us that God is in control. He loves us and wants to be close to us. And that's a part of God's story. Whew. Wow. Sarah, I'm glad you got down. I don't know how you got up there, um, but uh, I had my phone ready to call a fire brigade, um, not to get a stuck cat down from a tree, but to get a stuck Sarah. Whew. Wow, thank you, Sarah, for that. And uh, it's really great, isn't it? This P for prayer, where we can just pray anytime, anywhere, any place, any words. Uh, as well uh, to our Father and we can just talk to him just as a normal conversation without any special words 
and just talk to him and ask him for help um, and just saying thank you to him uh, as well is an amazing thing to do so that was the fourth p remember next week we've got p for promise and there is some amazing promises that god gives us and uh, so we're going to be looking at that so thank you very much steve thank you very much sarah again next week is the last one a week off uh, after that and uh, then we'll be back after that uh, again so uh, boys and girls keep safe this week um, who's going to get a star of the week in your home uh, i don't know uh, but um, i do pray uh, that you'll all be safe all your families and uh, we'll see you again same time ish uh, same day monday next week for discoverers at home so for now it is tally hose and toodle pips <laughs>